Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm making my favorite, which is curry chicken with white rice and plantains. Um, I'm, I cut up some chicken here in small chunks, four pieces of legs and thighs. And um, I washed it with some lemon juice. Right now I'm about to season it. Chicken season. I use one tablespoon of chicken season. All of the season, I actually use one tablespoon except for the black pepper and the curry powder right this is all purpose seasoning one tablespoon also I turned the water on cuz somebody was making noise and I was getting annoyed but yeah um one tablespoon of all purpose seasoning Half tablespoon of black pepper. I actually took out too much. So I was like to put some back. So half tablespoon. This is some ginger, garlic, and pimento mixed together. One tablespoon. I love um Greek seasoning. Like it gives it, it give it a different flavor. Like that's the only seasoning I use. I use like I use Greece. I love some Greece. Next I'm adding garlic powder. One tablespoon of garlic powder. That's how it looks with everything is on it. All the season except for the curry. I didn't add the curry yet. Um <laughs> right here I was saying that this is the best curry powder to me. And I don't know about nobody else. <laughs> I'm talking about myself. Um because I love me some grease curry powder. It's the best curry powder. It just makes the chicken taste the flavor of the chicken, it gives it tastes so good. Like taste amazing um right here i have put one teaspoon first i don't know why i thought that would be enough but it wasn't enough and now i'm cutting up half onion half onion and i cut up one carrot and it depends on how much chicken you're making so this is this wasn't a lot of chicken it was like I said, it was four legs, four thighs, cut up in chunks, small chunks, and small pieces. And, um, yeah, that, it depends on the amount of chicken you're cooking. You need the amount of seasoning, the right amount of seasoning. I'm sure y'all know that, but, yeah. Cut up one carrot. You always gotta have carrot in your curry chicken. Like, if you don't have carrot, like, is it really curry chicken? If you don't have carrot and potatoes, is it really curry chicken? I always put carrot in there. I don't always put potatoes. But I always, always put carrot in there. I feel like one of, one of them gotta be in there. Some people don't put not, nothing at all. Some people don't put nothing at all. Yeah. But that's cool. That's what y'all want to do. It's up to you. I want everything in there. This is time. I'm about to wash off and add to it. And now I'm about to get my hands dirty and rub it together. And I realized I was being really rough. <laughs> I don't know why. 
I'm trying to get all the seasoning together, you know. It's like you feel good teeth, but you got to rub it together real good. Real good. But, um, it wasn't looking yellowish for me. Like, I needed more. Like, from the angle of the camera, it was showing, like, it was looking like, it wasn't, if it looked yellow right here, but it does. It wasn't from where I was looking at. It wasn't enough um, curry curry powder, so I had to add one more tablespoon. Even though I'm gonna put some in the pot. Yep, need to be yellow, really yellow. So two tablespoons of curry powder, guys. If you're making a small portion like this. I don't think one tablespoon would do if you're making a small portion like this. I need mine to be really yellow, so. Hurry together again. Get all the flavors and niceness together. Get all them seasoning mixed together. That's how your food gonna come out real good. You gotta rub it together and let it marinate. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be looking. Now I'm about to cover it up and let it marinate for a couple of minutes. I had, after this, I had washed my rice and um put it on the stove. So right here, I'm putting in coconut oil. One tablespoon of coconut oil. I love um coconut oil with my rice, with my food, because that's what I mostly cook with, coconut oil. If I'm cooking chicken or whatever, I use coconut oil. Coconut oil give it a, like a a soft, not really say soft, but it give it like a nice texture. You can see that coconut oil in your rice. I don't use butter no more. I can tell the last time I used butter in my rice. But yeah, I had to add two, two tablespoons of coconut oil in a pot. Now I'm about to add one tablespoon of curry powder in the pot. Gotta mix it together so and gotta let it burn a little bit and give it gotta give it a color like that. Now you add the chicken. It looked like a lot there, but it was it really wasn't. <laughs> You mix it up, let it simmer, and you let it simmer. I think I had it too high. So you let it simmer and let it spring to its own water. Its own, I guess, gravy, you could call it. Yeah. And then you add water to it. Like, some people add the water right away, but I don't like doing that. I just rather... <laughs> right here, like I really forgot all about the rice. I'm not even gonna lie. I was not paying attention to the rice. I was just focusing on the, on the chicken. It was like, yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. But that's how you burn rice. You gotta pay attention. <laughs> it's like cooking plantains. And when you don't pay attention, that that burn. My rice was coming together. Yeah. Now I'm about to cut some plantains up. The plantains supposed to look like this. 
If you don't have that skin color, it's not really ready. Some of the yellow ones be ready, but then it be hard. And I don't like hard plantains. You need to be soft and nice. Can you say sweet? <laughs> yeah, soft and sweet. And I come my plantain slanted because I like it better that way. I had tried it like circle, cut it in a circle, but that's not my way to eat it. I'd rather cut it this way. This is a, this is the way I was told to cut it anyway. So checking on my chicken, so it won't burn. It brings a little, little bit of gravy. It wasn't a lot, but I was, I was ready to add the water, cause I was hungry. I was ready to add the water. From that angle, it don't even look like it's, it don't even look like it's curry chicken. But. Add the water and you cover it up. You mix it around a little bit, you cover it up. Actually, I didn't cover it up. You can if you want to, but I had left it open. Let it simmer while I get ready for my plantains. I'm always finding myself cleaning up. I, that's a better thing to do anyway. You got to clean up while you cook. So it'll be less work for you to do when you finish. Wash out whatever you was using. That's my thing. So it won't be a lot of work for you to do when you finish cooking. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's coming together. Look at that color. That's the color I wanted. That's the color you have to make sure you have. It's supposed to be looking like this. It's ready, guys. It's time to eat. Look at that. That looks so delicious. Your gravy should be looking thick and juicy and rich like this. It's going to taste so amazing. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And turn your post no notifications on. So you will be notified when I post a video. See you in the next one. <laughs>